Hi, good evening, dear students. Welcome back to PUC Second Year Physics Online Classes. In last class, we learned about the numerical problems on dual nature of radiation and matter. In today's class, I will continue that numerical problems. Here, problem number three. Work function of a sodium is problem number three. Work function of a sodium is work function of a sodium is work function of a sodium is two point three five electron volt. Two point three five electron volt. This is the work function of a sodium. Work function of a sodium is a 2.35 electron volt. What is the maximum wavelength? What is the maximum wavelength? What is the maximum wavelength? What is the maximum wavelength of a light? Of a light, light that will that will cause C A U S E cause photo electrons photo electrons photo electrons to be emitted from the metal to be. emitted from the metal question mark continue what will be the maximum energy what will be the maximum energy of the photo electrons of the photo electrons electrons come on if the radiation of if the radiation of 1000 angstrom 1000 angstrom Falls on the metal surface. <coughs> falls on the metal surface. Okay, this one is the given question. <coughs> once again, it is one work function of a sodium metal is two point three five electron volt. What is the maximum wavelength of a light that will cause photo electrons emitted from the metal? What will be the maximum energy of a photo electrons? Maximum energy of a photo electrons if the radiation of a thousand angstrom <coughs> falls on the metal surface. Okay, this one is a given question, and uh, they also given st standard values. H is equal to six point six two five into ten to the power of minus thirty four joule second. And C is equal to three into ten to the power of eight meter per second, and uh, E is equal to one point six into ten to the power of minus nineteen coulomb. Okay, and uh, this one is the given question. Next solution. Solution. Work function. Work function. Phi is equal to 2.35 electron volt. Okay, this one convert in terms of electron joule. Work function is equal to 2.35 into one electron volt value, 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joule. Then phi naught or phi is equal to this one is work function. Phi naught is equal to its answer 3.76. Into 10 to the power of minus 19 joule. Okay, this one is the work function value in terms of joule. Okay, then after that wavelength, 
वेव लेंथ लैमडा इज इक्वल टू मच वन थाउजेंड एंगस्ट्रॉम इट मीन टेन टू द पावर ऑफ थ्री एंगस्ट्रॉम लैमडा इज इक्वल टू टेन टू द पावर ऑफ थ्री इंटू वन एंगस्ट्रॉम मीन टेन टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस टेन इज इक्वल टू टेन टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस सेवन मीटर ओके दिस वन इज द लैमडा वैल्यू दिस वन इज द लैमडा वैल्यू then after that apply the formula what is the formula for work function work function phi not is equal to h nu not then phi not is equal to h nu not means c divided by lambda not therefore we have to calculate lambda not so lambda not is equal to h c divided by phi not then substitute the value of h c and phi not we get the wave length here lambda not is equal to h value 6.625 into 10 to the power of minus 34 then c value 3 into 10 to the power of 8 divided by Phi naught three point seven six into ten to the power of minus nineteen. Then lambda naught is equal to five point two eight six into ten to the power of minus seven meter. Okay, this one is the threshold wavelength. Or in terms of angstrom, lambda naught is equal to five two eight six. Into ten to the power of minus ten meter. Okay, lambda naught is equal to five to eight six angstrom. Okay, this one is the wavelength. We are shifting the point five point two eight six into ten to the power of minus seven. After shifting this point, point we get ten to the power of minus ten meter. Here minus ten meter is angstrom because. One angstrom is equal to ten to the power of minus ten meter. Then, energy equation. Next formula, energy E is equal to h c divided by lambda. H value six point six two five into ten to the power of minus thirty four. C value three into ten to the power of eight. Divided by lambda value ten to the power of minus seven. Then after simplification, this one six point six two five into ten to the power of minus thirty four into three into ten to the power of eight divided by. Okay, this one is in terms of joule is there. It converts electron volt means ten to the power of minus seven into one electron volt its value one joule in terms of electron volt that is one point six into ten to the power of minus nineteen. Electron volt. Then after simplification, this one value we get twelve point four two electron volt. This one is the energy. Energy value in terms of electron volt. Okay. See here, this one value in terms of joule is there. One electron volt is equal to how much? One point six into ten to the power of minus nineteen joule. In terms of joule means joule is equal to one divided by one point six into ten to the power of minus nineteen. Electron volt is now. We are converting a joule in terms of electron volt. Finally, we get the answer. Energy is equal to 12.42 electron volt. Then Einstein photoelectric equation. Total energy. Total energy E is equal to kinetic energy plus work function. This one is work function plus kinetic energy maximum. Then We have to calculate kinetic energy maximum is equal to energy minus work function. What is the value of energy? Twelve point four two electron volt minus two point three five electron volt. Okay, twelve point four two minus two point three five electron volt. It's a final answer. Ten point. Zero seven electron volt. This one is the kinetic energy maximum of the photo electrons. Okay, this one is the third one problem over. 
Next, problem number four. Light of frequency, light of frequency, light of frequency, seven point two one into ten to the power of fourteen hertz is incident. Is incident on a metal surface electrons with a maximum speed electrons with a maximum speed of Six point zero into ten to the power of five meter per second are ejected from the surface. Full stop. What is the threshold? frequency for photo emission of electrons photo emission of electrons okay this one is a given question read once again and uh, write down given Values solution given data frequency nu is equal to seven point two one into ten to the power of fourteen hertz velocity is equal to six into ten to the power of five meter per second Planck's constant h is equal to six point six two five into ten to the power of minus thirty four joule second. Mass of electron m is equal to 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg. Okay, apply the kinetic kinetic energy formula. Kinetic energy is equal to h nu minus nu naught formula. Here kinetic energy means of m into v square is equal to h nu minus nu naught. We want to calculate nu naught. Therefore, m into v square divided by two into h is equal to nu minus nu naught. Again, it converts nu naught is equal to m into v square divided by two h minus nu. Then. Nu naught is equal to seven point sorry this one is the nu naught is equal to m v square by h minus nu sorry once again I repeat this one. Want to calculate nu naught? So nu naught is equal to m into v square divided by divided by two h two h. When it comes to LHS, okay, its value its value is positive and this one is a negative and this plus nu plus nu. It means nu minus m into v square divided by two into h num. Then substitute the values. New value: seven point two one into ten to the power of minus sorry plus fourteen divided by okay as the same. Uh, next minus m value nine point one into ten to the power of minus thirty one into v square value six into ten to the power of minus uh, five. Whole square, whole divided by two into h value, six point six two five into ten to the power of minus thirty four. It means 
new value seven point two one into ten to the power of fourteen minus after simplifying this one we get two point four seven two into ten to the power of fourteen. Its answer final answer four point seven three eight into ten to the power of fourteen hertz. Okay, this one is the threshold frequency.